start out by saying uh, to the press to go up to the roof. I think wonder they'll take a few people at a time yeah, to see this white roof. Days. As many of you know, the Department of Buildings is always cautious, always doing a good job protecting us. So we want to help them if they need to. But they're going to allow some people to go up. Anyway, my name is Scott Stringer, Manhattan Borough President. Yeah. I'm glad all of you are here to join us for a very exciting announcement. And I am so glad to be joined by some real New York City advocates for our environment and for a sustainable city. The first is, please welcome Tamara Greenfield of Fourth Arts Park, New York City. Give her a round of applause. Woo! <laughs> Standing to my left is Heather James of the White Roof Project. Give Heather a big round of applause. Lower East Side, you think Cooper Square Mutual Housing Association. Yeah. I also want to recognize Con Edison and Solar One and all of our Go Green Lower East Side partners. Today, give them a big round of applause. Now today, we're making the Lower East Side even cooler. And in the process, we're turning white into green. Rooftops account for 12% of all surfaces in New York City. We painted all of those rooftops white. We could lower temperatures in the city by two degrees. And I think that would be welcome news for everybody who's navigated this past August. Cities are responsible for the vast majority of greenhouse gas emissions. So it's up to us to take the lead on fighting climate change. Scientists say that if the 100 biggest cities in the world installed white roofs, the global cooling effect would be massive. We can start right here in New York, one roof at a time and one block at a time. Today, we're coating roofs, but this is just the beginning of a larger model block project to showcase environmental sustainability right here on East West Street. It goes to the heart of all of our Go Green grassroots initiatives to promote environmental protection medical advocacy, and healthy nutrition in the Lower East Side, Washington Heights of New York. By uniting and empowering our community partners and stakeholders, we are building a healthier, more sustainable New York. Part of what is so exciting about this project on this block is it brings people from all different backgrounds together with one specific goal. You see, if we can create the ultimate environmentally sound, sustainable block with a white roof on one of these buildings, then we begin to recognize that what works here is gonna work all over the city. We've gotta do this block by block. And many elected, elected officials, including myself, will always talk from a large policy perspective and make policy announcements borough-wide or city-wide, and that's important. But what's really important is when you can look at a community like this, bring resources onto a block like this, and then transform a neighborhood creating healthy community that is precedent setting. So that is why we're here today to kick this off. It's not just about this block, but what we will do here will have a real impact in all our boroughs. And I am so pleased that Go Green, Lower East Side, a group that we started in our office with so many stakeholders under the leadership of our Deputy Borough President, Rose Pierre Louis, it's a group of people that now work with Go Green East Harlem and Go Green Washington tonight. This is how we transform the city. We listen to people in the neighborhood. We bring resources into a community. And someday, I believe, in the not too distant future, with real action and not rhetoric, New York City will lead the sustainability movement throughout the United States and quite possibly the world. And if we do that, and someday, the average age of this city, people will live well into their 80s, 90s, and even 100. It's a goal that we can realize sooner rather than later. And I'm very proud to kick this off today in a community as diverse and as exciting and as shy. <laughs> <laughs> very shy. See how shy? They can't wait to talk. They don't want to. As the people from the Lower East Side, a community I have grown to truly love. And I'm very proud to be here. So with that said, I want to kick this off and bring up Tamara Greenfield from Fab NYC. NYC is building sustainable, safe, sustainable communities through uh, cooperative, collaborative, 
efforts that bring together the arts, artists, low-income residents, um, and small businesses to think creatively about how we can share resources and weave our ideas and our um, and our vision together to make a community that functions and supports everyone who's here. And we couldn't be more excited to do this project here to bring together all the different partners, Solar One, NYSERDA, uh, White Roof Project, Con Edison, and many, many others who are going to be pairing their um, creative ideas and their projects to help our partners, our small businesses, and our residents lower their energy costs, um, increase energy efficiency, reduce waste, and think creatively about how we can make this a better community. So thank you so much. Thanks, Kamar. And Val, are you ready for the Cooper Square Committee? Val or Sally? today in this beautiful sunny day and commemorating what I think is a historic event. The Lower East Side is chock full of history. It's really the birthplace of America, it's the birthplace of the labor movement, the women's movement, and we're hoping now that by selecting one block of the Lower East Side, we can start a real movement, like was said by uh, the Bono President, encompassing a hundred or more big cities that will go green by painting the, the buildings roof white and other measures because we do need to save energy and I'm glad that this movement can be said to have started on the Lower East Side. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> now for that organization White Roofs, Heather James. <laughs> yeah, I'm here from White Roof Project. Over at White Roof we coordinate volunteers, communities, city agencies to help us do projects like the one behind us where we're bringing citizens together to lower energy costs and to curb climate change. We're here today because of the help of Fourth Arts Block and because of the leadership of the Manhattan Borough President in helping us connect to the community in starting Go Green Lower East Side and in helping us fundraise so that we can do this large undertaking at no cost to the local community here on the Lower East Side. We are so proud that White Roof Project has coordinated the largest project of this kind in the city first model block here on the Lower East Side. We are so proud to have recruited over 150 volunteers and to have over 50 with us here today to help make this block on the Lower East Side sustainable, smarter, more energy efficient, and from here we're going to move on to more about the model blocks. So thank you all so much. And again, I just really once again want to thank Con Edison, Solo One, and Pro NYC, and all the Go Green partners who have contributed to this effort and one thing that I think cannot be overstated is what Heather's talking about in terms of making sure that we bring everybody together for a successful model block because we do want to take this on the road and when you can get a hundred volunteers and all of these community-based organizations to come to one community to do all this great work it won't be long before thousands of people are participating in various efforts like this. And part of what Go Green is all about is getting local neighborhood people together with community-based organizations to take on big projects and build off our successes. So whether it's funding smart capital projects, funding smart painting projects, bringing sustainability to a community, talking about food supply and production so that we can bring farmers markets into a community, all of this is tied together by the fact that we recognize that all of this sustainability effort has to occur right now in the city and create that model for what hopefully will be a new and healthier New York City. Any press questions for myself or other of the advocates today? Uh, you, you mentioned that this comes out to zero cost to the community, right? So, yes, that is correct. Through private donations and through our own efforts with the help of the Manhattan Borough President's Office and other stakeholders in Go Green Lower East Side, we've been working very hard for months to fundraise for the cost of the white roof coating. All of the materials and the food are donated in kind. So we're saving the residents energy here, but then we're also doing this at no cost. Anybody else? Um, I have a question about the Fortune. You mentioned uh, the Institute of 
for the lot too. Okay, Heather. Okay. <laughs> you can't Heather. Okay. So you mentioned a fundraising. Um, how much is the total amount for this quarter? So we were able to get some discounts through our paid supplier, Allied Building Products. Ordinarily, the cost for this project would be about fifteen thousand dollars. It does sound like a lot, but this is a very large block, and that is very cost effective compared to a green room. So we're definitely very proud of it. Okay. As I said. How many properties on this block alone do you expect to, to do it and buy when approximately? Uh, there are 20 properties involved in this project. We had originally intended to finish today, uh, but this is an outdoor thing and it was quite rainy last night. Uh, so we have a rain game coming up. We're almost done, but now we expect to finish at the end of September. So 20 on this block alone? Between... That's correct. Okay. Well, some are actually on East Coast. Well, again, I want to thank well, I want to thank all the stakeholders, and I want to thank all of you for coming to spread the word about a very exciting, exciting project in the city of New York. Thank you.